Well guys, good morning. It is Sunday, April 7th, and tomorrow is the big solar eclipse. Last night we started driving from Pittsburgh. We're heading towards Maine because that's where a lot of the good clear skies are. We had to do a lot of quick planning and adjustments because Texas was gonna be nice and clear, but unfortunately the weather really didn't improve and was looking pretty cloudy, so we're rolling the dice. We're heading towards Maine. It's a long 12 and a half hour drive from Pittsburgh, but we're hoping that based on the forecast, Maine is looking really good with the weather tomorrow in the afternoon for the eclipse so we're going to get back on the road and head up to Bangor, Maine and then do a little bit of scouting later this afternoon. Alright guys, well we finally made it up to Maine and so far weather is looking beautiful it's blue skies out right now we're going up north uh, almost to the Canadian border uh, Lucia one of my friends her photography uh, group has kind of been scouting around the state trying to find a good spot and this is where they selected so they grabbed some camping spots we're gonna car camp up there and set up our equipment for the eclipse and, and hopefully get some cool photos of it and of course just experience it and soak it in from pretty much right near the the line of uh, the center line of totality it's gonna be really cool but just driving up north here it's absolutely looking beautiful the, the rivers and the streams up here are just spectacular and of course we're enjoying it right now because there's no clouds and it looks like that's gonna stay that way for the next 24 hours or so through the eclipse so fingers crossed that, that holds true but Excited for getting all the equipment set up and of course watching the eclipse can be amazing. So we just got up into northern Maine. We set up the tent to the campground and we're gonna hang out, do a little bit of stargazing. Perfect clear night. We're only, geez, 15 miles or so, actually less from the Canadian border. So we really wanted to push high into northern Maine to get as much of totality as we can for the solar eclipse. But we're gonna hang out for the night, get some good sleep, and enjoy the show tomorrow. since it's dark out the night before the eclipse we're going through setting up our tripods and we're using a couple trackers so we're going to do the polar alignment now and that's going to let us during the daytime track the sun and have it stay in the field of view of the camera so again being here a little bit early and with clear skies tonight is allowing us to set up and do the polar alignment at night which makes imaging during the daytime a lot easier for the eclipse tomorrow Well, good morning guys. Today is the eclipse. It is going to start in about four hours right now. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock. First contact starts at 10.18 here and we're going to get about three minutes and 22 seconds of full totality. And again, we have beautiful clear skies. There's a couple clouds way on the horizon. They're really high right now. So hopefully that stuff just kind of dissipates later. But we're excited and we're going to go check in on the group and see how many people are hanging out for the event.
right, so we have a little bit under one hour until the beginning of the eclipse. And then from there, that first contact at 218, we have to wait about an hour and 20 minutes until totality happens. But we have easily over 100 people at the campground. It's pretty crazy. I know everyone's getting excited. Let's go check in on everyone. I think Lucia is excited for the eclipse. Lucia, yes, I am. What are you gonna end up shooting today? This is my um, D750 with a 24 to 70, and this is gonna be my wide angle. I'm gonna do a time lapse and hopefully get the phases totality take off the cat. I mean the M filter, and then the rest of the path. And this one is my Z9 with a 180 to 600. And I'm going to shoot single frames of just the sun. Okay. Hi, this is Sujay. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm a hobbyist photographer. And uh, today I'll be uh, shooting uh, solar eclipse. This is my first solar eclipse. So here I have uh, two camera. Uh, one is uh, effective focal length of 1000 millimeter, roughly. And the other one is 500 millimeter. Um, I'm also going to shoot time lapse. Uh, so there I have a 16 millimeter that I'll be making time lapse of. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Like a little standoff to get this higher, just so you have a better swing, like so it doesn't hit into anything. Oh, 
awesome. <laughs> Those are gonna be awesome to zoom in on later too. Mm -hmm. The front legs. Because you can zoom in because they're coming up. That's how you can do it because they're coming up. You just can't use your teeth and just put them on the bottom. Well guys, it stayed clear here for the eclipse in Maine. It was absolutely beautiful. The adrenaline of everything when it's happening, it's so quick, but totality lasted a little bit over three minutes here. Beautiful blue skies and so many cool people around to just experience something that is really special. And of course, we always wonder what people thought about before technology when such an event passed them on Earth. It's really unique and a cool thing to experience. But hope you guys were able to experience the eclipse if it was clear where you're at. But thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Clear skies.